step by step from scratch. Let's see how we can we summarize a data set into a heat chart in Excel to help us analyze the data. And here I have two different ways to create this heat map chart. One, we have the numbers being displayed, and another one, we only have the color scales that goes from red up to the green color. This heat map chart in Excel is very easy to do, and it also can help us on a daily basis to automate analysis and save time. And whenever we update any data within our data set, the results here in the heat map chart are also going to be automatically updated for us. So step by step from scratch, let's take a look on how can we create this heat map chart in Excel. Let's go. To create any type of chart, in Excel, we first need to have a data set. And if you want to download this Excel file for free, just click in the link in the description down below. That way you can follow with me this step by step. I have a sales report. However, if you want to use a different data, you can also do it. So be free to choose if you want to use this Excel file or if you want to use another one. In this Excel file, there is a information that is very important to me that I want to analyze. That is, I want to see all the regions that I have, actually I have four, north, west, east, and south. And I want you also see all the months and the total sold per month per region. So those three different informations are very important for me. Now that we already know what we need to do, let's move on to the second step that is adding a new sheet, clicking the plus sign and then rename, right click, go to rename. This one is going to be hit chart, enter. And as I said before, I want to compare all the months that I have against the regions and see how much I sold for each one of the regions. The regions are four. That is north, west, south, and east. Or you can organize in a different order, let's say. But I'm going to stick with that one. And as the months I have from January up to December, but instead of manually input all the months of the year, I want to do something faster. That is Jan, that is stands for January, the shorter way. And I want to click at the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag it out until I got December in the, in the little tag, as we can see, December. Okay, because Excel can continue to create the sequence. And it, let's say Excel didn't create the sequence for you. So you can click in the tag and go to few series. Because that way, now you're going to have the sequence. In the cell here uh, in the top left, I can maybe input chart, just to make something different. And as the values that I want to input inside is going to be the sum of everything that I sold for the North region and in the January month. So basically, what I need to do is a addition using two different criteria. The first one is the region, and the second one is the month. To do it, we can use an Excel equal sign some function, not actually, because the sum function can add it up all the values that we selected in a range. But I don't want to make an addition of everything, but just the things that match with our criteria. In this case, we have two conditions. So I can go to submit. No, I can't because I have more than only one criteria. So I need to use some ifs with the s in the suffix. This s in the suffix indicates that uh, we can use as many as criteria as we need. So let me double click here, one, two. Okay, now let's go. The sum range, what is the, the thing that I want to sum, to summarize or to add up? Uh, I have here in the data set and I want to add up the total price. And I can either select a small range like this or click over the letter H to select the entire column. Now let me press trauma. Let's me click in the formula bar to bring the stack up. And as we can see, now we have we need to select the criteria, the first criteria range. The first criteria range maybe can be the column C, where I have the maps. And then, comma. Now let's move on to the heat chart again. And as I did select before the month as the range, now I need to select as the first criteria the first month that I have to the left, January. And then, comma. Now let's see here what uh, the sum ifs is asking us the second criteria range. Okay. Now let's go back to the data set and select the second criteria range. That is going to be the region. So the region is in the column K, like this. Okay. Choma. Uh, the last thing now is the second criteria. And as we did select the region as a criteria, we need to select also the region as the criteria. And that's it. We're done. So let me press enter and we're done. So this is the total sold for the north region in the January month. 
If I bring this formula down at the bottom right corner, click hold and drag, we can see that maybe we have an issue because why we got zero as result. Because if we double click in the first cell one, two, as we can see, the reference is in the north and also in the January. If I move down, what I need to happen is, let's say I'm in this cell right here. The criteria still needs to remain in north. However, the month needs to be April. Let's see what is happening within this function. One, two. Okay, so I already know what is the problem. When I move a function down, as we can see, all the references, so let's say it was in January, now it's in April, and if I continue to move this uh, function down, the reference is going to also follow along. Okay, it's correct. However, when we are talking about the region, the region needs to stay in this cell right here, cell C3. It can't be moved out. So how can I fix the position of this specific cell? I can use the F4 key to lock the reference. So let's do it. Double click one, two in the function. So let's go here to the last part where we select the C3 cell that corresponding to the region. Select everything and then F4 key. And as we can see, the F4 key adds a dollar sign before the column and before the row. It indicates that both the column and the row are thickest in the, in the same positions, not gonna move. So let me press hit the enter. Let me bring this formula down again. And as we can see, now it's working. However, we need to be mindful here because as the reference, I also have the column C with the months and the column K with the region. If I drag the function to the right to make sure we can deal with the result all the, the other regions, we also gonna move the reference in the column C and the column K, the month and the region. But I also need to fix those references. How can I do it? Let's go back to the hit chart and let's see what's gonna happen if I select everything. And if I move to the right, so click, hold, and drag. Okay, we got zero because, as we can see here, let's say in the data set, in this first function, we are using the column H to use the month as a criteria. But if we move on to the cell to the right, as we can see, instead of having the column H, now we have in the column I. And this is a problem because the criteria range cannot change. So, again, let's go back to the first cell, one, two, and let's think how can I fix those reference. Again, I can select everything, let's say, here in the column H first, and then F4 key to lock the reference. And now select the column C, everything, and also the column K, where we have the region. Select everything and F4 key. Okay, that's it. Let me press Enter. Let me bring this formula down. Let me move this formula to the right. Oh, we still have the same issue as before, but why is that? Let me click here in any cell in the middle one two instead of the reference stay in the month as we can see here to the left the reference was in this cell right here of course we also need to lock the movement of the month cell however the cell of the month can indeed be moved down and also up so i don't need to lock this reference up and down but i need to lock this reference to the right and to the left. And how can I do it? Let's go again to the first cell, one, two. Indeed, we are also having here a lesson how to use the F4 key to lock a certain range in Excel. So let's go to here, the cell B4, and hit the F4 key once to lock everything up, down, to the right and to the left. However, let's press again the F4 key. And that way, as we can see, the dollar sign is only before the number or only before the row. But I don't want you to lock the row. I want you to lock the column. So let me press F4 key again. Okay, now we have the dollar sign before the letter B or before the column B. And this is correct. And we also need to do something similar with the region that we have up here. It cannot be moved out or up, but it can be moved to the right and to the left. So let me go here to the last range and hit the F4 key one time more. And as we can see now, the dollar sign is before the number three or is before the row. And it indicates that this cell can only be moved to the right or to the left. And it's perfectly correct. Now let me press enter and let me bring this formula down and bring the formula to the right. Now we're done. So this is how we can use the sum if to summarize the data set into two different criteria, the region and also the map. Now let's go to another step that is adding here the conditional formatting or the color scale from red up to green. So with everything selected, I can go to the home tab and conditional formatting, select color scales. Let me select the first option. 
Now let me select everything that I have, go to the home tab, align everything horizontally and vertically, put everything in bold, also click here in the borders and go to all borders, select the headers and also select here the titles to the left, go to the home tab again, change the font color to a white one and change the background to a darker one like this. But instead of letting the numbers like this, that are like the one that we are seeing here, I can customize the format. So let me select everything and it's very important because we are talking about money currency to input the dollar sign or whatever the symbol that represents the currency that you need to use. So home tab, go to general and go to more number formats. Here I can go to custom and I can create my own format. And the one that I want to create is dollar sign space and then pound sign or hash comma k and then click OK. We're done. So this is our heat map chart in Excel. But uh, let's say you don't want to display the numbers. You can also read off the numbers without getting rid of the function. Let me select everything again in Home tab. I want to customize again the format. More numbers format. And as the type, I want to read off everything. Now it's blank and I want to code uncode. Simple as that. Press OK. And yeah. This is how we can get rid of the number, however, keeping the function. But let me undo this action because I actually want to keep the numbers. And I also want to select the column C, D, E, and F, increase the width. And also select the rows and increase the size of those rows like this. And yeah, so this is my heat map chart in Excel. And now let's see what this chart is telling us. Let's analyze the data. In January or in the first months of the year, we can see that we have a more a reddish color and it indicates that there's not too much sales in these months comparing to the last months of the year because now we have a more greenish color. So as of course we can see here, let's take East as a reference. We can see in the first row we have a red color and in the last one we have a yellowish and uh, we can also see the scale going from red up to yellow. If you take north, west, or south too, we can see the same pattern being repeated. Uh, the scale is growing from a reddish or yellowish color up to a greenish color. So we can see that the sales are growing from January to December. And another thing that we can see is north and south are the best regions because they have not a reddish color and uh, in other hand the east and west have a reddish color so this is wrap up for this analysis i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there